Hello guys, and welcome to episode 5 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign, playing as the Sisters of Twilight, leading the Heralds of Ariel and the Wood Elves to world domination. Today, we're going to be defending the Witchwood. I set off the Ritual of Rebirth, not knowing at all what happens next, and now I have to defend against three, three new armies. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I don't think there was anything left for us to do. So we'll move on to the next turn. The plan in the future will be to sit in <laughs> the forest when we initiate such things. And that will allow us to take out <laughs> the incoming armies ASAP. Enemy of the forest. In other words, you're dead. Nice. We've been declared on by the Warherd of the Shadow Gave. Great. <laughs> <laughs> kind of pointless, since we're nowhere near them. The Witchwood certainly becoming nice and strong. It's getting bigger. Oh yeah, we just finished our building here as well. Right, are we in range to attack this one? Oh, you're kidding me. We're just out of range. Spreading harmony. I don't it really want to be in march in dance <laughs> for doing that. How do I get to the Witchwood without dying? <laughs> that is the question. Because <laughs> unfortunately, Othio dies in a bit of a bad spot. I could pump this up again to the next level. It is very tempting. What do these do? Construction cost reduction allows recruitment of blade singers. I think we'll go for, uh, what was it I was going to do, yeah, just like the upgrade, yeah, we'll just do that, we'll put the 9,500 in that, it's going to take 14 turns, so, yeah, we'll do that, but it looks like uh, the Exiles on the Heck beat the, beat the Greenskins, so we're going to have to deal with them afterwards as well, that's going to be very awkward. Can I get close enough? I think we're close enough that if they attack us, the Witchwood can reinforce. So we'll try that. And here I'm going to put Sacrificial Ground so we get the income from post-battle loot because we've got a bunch of battles incoming. Let's end the turn. See what happens. I'm going to assume that the armies just kind of like pop out and then we're able to attack them or they will attack us. If I can deal with the armies one by one, then we should be absolutely fine. Then I'm going to have to think about how I'm going to deal with the exiles and the heck. <laughs> so things are going to get pretty wild soon. Let's see. We'll get to the end of the turn. And bam, there they are. Okay. No, you failed, failed. Oh, there's another one. Wow. Okay. Well, we have this one in our way. And we're going to have Othiodai sit in the Witchwood. We'll level up the Lina. And we'll go in for this attack. Bring me battle! Oh, they ran away. We're probably going to have to play it out because I don't want to take too much damage here. Let's jump on in. Now that we have a lot of Orc Riders, 
this should be much more simple than before. All these Hawk Riders, I can move forwards and we can just use the ability immediately to just annihilate half of their troops. So that's what we're going to do. And then behind that, we can have our Glade Guard move up. I'm going to make them a group so I can move them up. Start the battle. Off we go. Okay, let's go from right to left. <laughs> this is just so stupid. We, <laughs> we already did so much damage. I want to take down the warp block to Zales. Those are the main thing I need to get rid of here. Alright, we're going to have... These go to the left and cover us off there. down some magic. We'll go ahead and buff these boys up. We stand ready. And we'll just keep flying around. Maybe we can take out the brood horror here. Alright, not long until we got our abilities. We can use them again. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's just disgusting. <laughs> okay, anyone else got one? <laughs> it's just ridiculous. It's good, though, because it means that... <laughs> I'm gonna be able to deal with the other armies that we've popped up all over the place. I feel like I'm like speed running this campaign, which I guess is half the point, but also at the same time. I feel like I'm doing it faster than maybe I should be. Because it's definitely making it like more difficult than it needs to be. Like for example, if I'd known about all of these armies popping up, I definitely wouldn't have done it. At least not this soon. Would have got myself in position first. Alright, let's take out the grace there. Uh, hopefully that helps. Because we basically just need to... Need to just get army losses right now. Literally up. There we go. I may need to attack them again. So we will spread out and look for clues. <laughs> Let's uh, make sure we run these down as much as we can. Well, that seems like they're going to get away. All right, we'll just end it there and uh, chase them again. I guess if they still have a lot of troops left, then technically we'll get like more 
money and stuff for beating them again. So, yeah, might be worth it. Funny how we did most of the damage before the battle even started. Getting replenishment is actually probably a good idea. 13% is a decent chunk. And it'll be useful for dealing with the next battles. They actually the one-shot them. Right, we have some wildred ranges unlocked. That's cool. They've leveled up again. The extra speed would be nice for the hawk riders. But I think we're going to get Wings of the Forest maxed out. What else could I get here? In Bolts of the Forest would be the other one. Because Eternal Guard and Dryads we're not going to have. Uh, Glade Riders, Wild Riders, Stag Knights, so Sister of the Thorn, probably not. War Dancers, Blade Singers, Wilded Rangers, no. And we're not going to have any treatment. So I think the Bolts of the Forest is the best one to get for now. Because we want to get Rally and we want to get the uh, Swift and Sturdy. Yeah. That would be a good shout. I could also just max this out for the extra income from post battle loot. Yeah. We'll do that actually for, for now, since we're going to be fighting more of them. Is there anything I want to build in this, these other slots now? Hmm. I mean, getting this one so we can upgrade to the Deepwood Scouts doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Uh, getting the upgrade for Treeman, get, maybe getting some, like, Glade Riders could be pretty fun. Or even just getting more Eagles. I'm really not sure what we want to get. Might be worth just saving the money for now. We've only got 3,700 anyway. And we're going to want to be able to build the upgrade here, which costs 3,500. Alright, let's move on, I think, to the next turn. I'm just going to double check diplomacy, though. We've been cut off from trade with Talson. Oh, no. Talson, Talson's lost their Solomon. That's not good. Morgus coming for the Yoke of Ages. Okay. I can't, like, war coordinate or anything, can I? Like, I need a defensive alliance. <laughs> Why is Morgan gonna destroy Orion? That's so annoying. Alright, Forge of Daith is uh, max, so we should probably spend some of this. Uh, let's upgrade the Dreaming Boots. Okay. Yeah. That's not good at all. Harmony has prevailed. Awaiting bloodshed. For this deep roots thing, it says to use deep roots to travel to this magical forest first, select an army within another forest, and then click here. Oh, okay. So I need to go over here and then click here. Can I not do that while we're... Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, Orion is probably dead. Although he still has his army. Because his strength rank is relatively decent. Maybe he'll take it back. Let's just move on for now. There's nothing I can really do about it. We've got to deal with, with our own stuff. It'd be, it would suck not to have Orion though. Oh, they've just come straight for the Witchwood. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's fight this out. We actually get defenses as well. By the looks of things. This will be fun.
they are coming to us. That's interesting to see this map. I haven't, I think, played on a map like this before. Very cool. This is our glade. And we get to stand on the edge with all of our range forces and absolutely annihilate them. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, we'll probably... I'm going to have to like spread these a little bit, right? Or do you... Like so... And um, we'll do the same on this side. Our aim is true. Everything out in front doesn't really need to be there. The only places I need to defend are on the sides. We might let this one go, maybe, because it's a bit far away. The one on the left we can definitely defend. I'm going to keep these behind ready to go. All of these can stay on this side. Put the drake in here as well. Okay, let's start the battle. Dude, maybe I should have built barricades here. Because then we could have shot them here instead. Ah, we'll just wait and build the towers. Okay, we're gonna shift these over. Right, let's get them over here. Because we can definitely do some nice attacks on those guys all bunched up. I might want to do the Eagle Quiver on those, actually. Actually, let's not do that. We'll do Eagle Quiver on the uh, Gracer. After we do a Breath Attack on the Night Runners, because they're all starting to run through them. So we should get a good Breath Attack off. That was big. It was very big. Damn, that mutant rat ogre is going to work. My poor dryads might get knocked out. Have the fireball ability. I didn't even see that before. Host. It doesn't really matter if my 
forest defenders get killed. Although the tree can are getting melted there. <laughs> the left side seems kind of under control to a certain extent. Let's see if we can get a nice breath attack in here. Beautiful. That did so much damage. Alright, let's have her go over to the right hand side. We'll get the Eagle Riders over there. do the lamentation and then we'll do the fireball as well <laughs> that was actually a lot of damage <laughs> well, that destroyed them. Let's go chase down the warp fire throwers. Once his lamentation's ready, or even the fireball, we can fireball the grace here. Or we can miss. That works too. I don't think he's going to be in range to do that. Even if he does have the extra speed. No, we'll leave it there. We can always chase him down. That was good. We get 3,394 for that. And 5,600 experience for Othiodai. Very nice. 20% rep replenishment is a lot. I'm going to take the money though. They're just constantly topping off the witchwood. Should we kill them, sister? Stay your blade. I sense no malice in them. That's the fair enchantress. <laughs> she would like military access. Uh, we will counter offer for some more money, please. Thank you. Axon's given us a lot of money, to be honest. It's quite nice. I'm hoping I can attack Toxidon and attack this next one in the same turn. Oh no! Talson's been destroyed. Oof. Mission aborted. Right, they popped out. Got a mission issued to defeat him in battle which we're going to do like immediately oh that's rough that's really annoying I kind of wish I had the mod installed to uh, to get legendary lords back because that sucks like how does that even happen <laughs> it's ridiculous Right, we got rid of him. That's good. Uh, let's maybe keep Othiode here. Like, I kind of want to bring him with me because it just gets extra experience the more he comes with us, but at the same time it's kind of uh, a bit risky because we have so many enemies all over the place. Right, we're going to start going through this so we can get regrowth. 
Night and day. Sister Twilight did level up from that. We'll give them extra health. Our spell singer can grab the missile resistance as we're about to get the eagle. I don't think there's really much else I want here other than... Actually, maybe Flock of Doom upgrade is a good idea so we can reduce the cost of it. Yeah, seems like a good shout. Right. Time to destroy another army. Let's move on to the other app. We might just run away. Yeah, they did. A little bit frustrating, but I guess they'll have to attack us anyway. And they're going to take some attrition. And at least the other ones are liking Lord us, although Widrioth is also a word you say. very low anyway. right now on troops. <laughs> we will take the defensive alliance. Thank you very much. Very well. I should have got military access first because I could have make, made them pay for it. Give me your one the coin before give me your 300. Said. Oh, military alliance as well. Yes. Very Lord, nice. You have been granted at your service. Um. So we can do this, and then we can do this. Good. Yeah, it's a shame that uh, Ryan died. I mean, I'm not as concerned. Like, I'd much prefer to have Durthu <laughs> anyway. But you need me. God, that sucks. Really, we're not far off a confederation. Like, without doing the quest. And that would give us another tree. Got the outpost available. We don't really want to do that. A waste of time. I might actually turn off the outpost available. Actually... No, because if I turn it off and then I get it for like a faction that I actually want to have it in, like Protonia for example, then yeah, that might be annoying. Anyway, uh, we can use the Forge of Daith again. Let's upgrade the Eagle Bow. Kind, and we'll Sister, end the turn. <laughs> It's funny how the sisters bicker. It has grown on me a little bit. Initially I was like, oh, can't these two just shut up? <laughs> well, it's not so bad. Alright, here comes Kartep and King Hatip with their abundance of skeletons. That's going to be annoying. Fortunately, we don't really need... Speak quickly. It's any more, I don't think. Want us to join a war? No, thank you. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do this. Like, why did Hellkeep go that way? Oh, that's good. Widrioth has started building an outpost. That's going to just give us more defences at the Witchwood. So that's actually really good. Okay. We have 15,000. Am I in range to attack Kawakeek? I am. But he's probably just going to run away again. I think our best bet is to have Othiodai Stay in the Witchwood. And we're going to have him recruit us some more Hawk Riders. Then we'll have the Sister Twilight chase down Hellkeek. Okay. we got a new research available. We're going to go on to the Ladriel. 
Lady of Mists for the extra campaign map movement range. And we'll likely go on to Hoeth, Lord of Wisdom after that. And then on to Kernos the Hunter. Yeah, we're going to keep going that way, I think, round the top. Good. Let's end the turn. Just on a wild goose chase with Skaven. It's always good fun. We do have another one turning up down here that will probably go for Hag Hall, maybe. I mean, they're coming to me, so maybe I just have to go back towards the Witchwood. And in the meantime, we have the Sisters of Twilight take out the Exiles of the Heck. I will take this Peace Treaty. The more peace, the better at the moment, especially considering their armies are all over the place. Dwarves. We've got to take out. So in the current age, the Wood Elves and their Tree Spirit allies have been known to offer their assistance to the lesser races who dwell outside the boundaries of Athel Lauren for the good of the Weave. Some Bretonians came to came to look upon your kind as allies, even bestowing honorary knighthoods unto your commanders for coming to their aid in battle. The dwarves, however, have been somewhat more stubborn in forgetting the times long past when the Wood Elf hosts defeated them in battle, even though such events ostensibly occurred during their own greed and crude ignorance. Despite your kin's effort to right those perceived wrongs, the dwarves have never once considered striking an entry against the Fey Folk from the Book of Grudges and Thanks. The great treeman, Elder Durthu, has grown weary of their discourtesy and could become a valuable ally should you decide to punish them. So we're not going to get the Towson quest, unfortunately. Because he is dead. <laughs> but Togravan did take control of it at least, so that's something. Right, we will get this going to the Thriving Oak of Ages, of course. 16 turns that's going to take. Just get that garrison absolutely maxed out. Oh, they're building the outpost at the Oak of Ages. Okay, well, that's good, I suppose. Oh, we can catch up to him, but yeah, I'm going to go the other way. We're going to go to the Temple of Adeoth and head over towards the Plain of Spiders, I think. Because I think my fella here, Othiodai, should be good enough with the garrison to defend that. I kind of want to get some agents, like uh, the Waystalker, for example, would be nice to have. I'm going to get the Glade Guard hide here. I keep clicking this button. I don't want the outpost. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All right. Let's have a quick look. Any confederations? Our Legion and the Drowned would take non-aggression packs. Oh, that would be good. I will listen. Trade with Vissenland. Right. Thank you very much. Consume. Those who dis you need me. Uh, Widrioth would take the Confederation. Interesting. Oh, wait, is Morga gonna kill Argolon as well? Stop it. <laughs> I mean, Dirty's over here. There's no way. <laughs> That's so dumb. Glade Lord, at your service. If I confederate Glade here, Lord. then I'm going to have to deal with all the bullshit that incurs from being nearby all of these people. 
but it may give me a chance to defeat Proud son of Morga. Lord of the Glade. So I might just do it. With Drioth. Deal with me. Give me the Confederation. Thank you very much. That is going to give us the minus diplomatic relations with other Wood Elves, but I think that's fine. Can I offer assistance? Okay. So Findol, he's currently wounded. He's only level Bible. two. We currently have Oliaruth, who's going to sit in the crag halls. And he's going to need to recruit some dudes. I'm not going to recruit too many dudes though. Because otherwise we'll be losing money every turn. Which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. We'll just get the extra replenishment now. Hopefully Morga will come back and attack us if we are chilling here. I can definitely get more money, actually, by destroying some of this stuff. I don't think we're going to destroy the ones we're going to use to recruit, which is probably the Deepwood Camp. But I might get rid of the Trickster's Gallery, or even the Warhawk Crags, although the Warhawk Crags would be nice to have here so I can get the, the Hawk Riders. So I might just recruit a few Eternal Guard and then destroy that building. We could also global recruit them if we needed to. Okay, well, we're getting somewhere. Let's end the turn. Minus recruitment costs for treating it, Othiode. Nice. Good. Hell Keek's on his way. And Silostria would like a non aggression pact, which I think. Honestly, we could probably could do. I think it's fine. They will probably end up attacking us anyway. Just got to keep the peace for the time being whilst we wait for this to finish. Once that's finished and we stop being attacked, we can actually look outwards to the world. And stop a lot of our other Wood Elf friends from getting absolutely annihilated. So mission aborted for the Widrioth one because we obviously got him. Uh, Dreamer of Dreams. Dreaming Woods, Athel Kaelin, is a forbidden place ruled by the worshippers of Slanesh. To travel there is to flirt with madness and temptation, and those that emerge are either racked by lunacy or forged by the crucible of their experiences. This one has walked through the fires of insanity and found an ethereal strength on the other side. Nice. Okay. Did he kill Morga? <laughs> Looks like he might have. <laughs> Good job, Dirthu. <laughs> okay. Just got to keep an eye on these because could very well lose that quite quickly. Welcome to the hall. Yeah, Togavan will not take a confederation for the time being, which is fine. Okay, let's go and attack the plane of spiders. We've got to take this from the Tomb Kings and then we'll go and take the other settlement from the Exiles on a Heck to completely destroy them. It's been a bit of a wild ride so far. Let's jump on in. So previously when we fought at the settlement, we did it from the other side over here but now I'm going to do it in the middle because I don't think this terrain really works too well with the range forces but up here maybe we'll have a better a better chance of actually doing some decent damage so that's what we're going to try
Okay. Set that on to Talon of Dusk. Bloody battle. And we'll go ahead and breath attack. Destroy as much of that as possible. Very good. Amazing how far they can, these can fire. <laughs> Awaiting orders, cavalry. For Apple Lauren, armed and ready. Sisters of Twilight. And look how far they go. It's crazy. Taking out a lot of those archers is good. Hand of the forest. I'm gonna start shifting up my range forces. Yes. We'll have the Eternal Guard block off the entrances. Wait, why did it just like randomly shoot that? <laughs> it's crazy. Let's do a breath attack on the skeleton spearmen. Oh wow, that just annihilated them. That was skeleton archers anyway, <laughs> not skeleton spearmen. That's fine. Oh, that's the Ashabti. Well, they just got shot to pieces. Kill them! Ever ready! Now! At speed! Bringing harmony! They are already dead. Orders received! I'm gonna move the eagles forwards. We're going to go and take down that tower. Riders of Athel Lauren, armed and ready. All right. <laughs> Some of these didn't really do much damage, but it's okay. Better than not using it at all. side there. Time to move in with these forces, I think. Plenty of damage in. Uh, let's maybe just breath attack the skeleton spearmen here. We get like four breath attacks, which is really nice. Loads of damage done with it. Gonna eagle quiver the tomb king.
I will just do like normal shots into the Tomb King. Gotta be careful of his curse though. That can really hurt. I was coming right for my other forces, so... I'm gonna just spread these... Well, just move them away from him. Because if he gets the curse going when I start attacking him, it's gonna hurt. Be with his wild form. Get that crazy strength going. There we go, there's the curse. Get the Eternal Guard to move up on that left side. I think I'm going to breath attack the skeleton archers. Seems like the best target. Charge into these Nahakara warriors. Oh, look at all those orcs. There's so many. Oh my. Don't stand a chance. Good. Took down their defenses. Flock of Doom should do some damage for us, eh? No alternative. We'll probably target these skeleton chariots. Be fine. On this side, I'm just going to keep going after each unit, I think. Should be crumbling. There we go. Arm down ready. Sell the hordes. It shall be done. With haste. At once. And get them to take off again. Right. There we go. Now we go and destroy the skeleton archers. Oh, never mind. That is it. A decisive victory. I managed to get the job done nicely there. Sisters of Twilight carrying us to victory once more. 2,465 in our coffers with 5,500 of our uh, experience. Very nice. Um, we're going to occupy this one. And I might take the Obsidian Quarry actually, because I think that could actually make us some money. Just through trade. Right, let's go for the Endurance of the Oak, get that extra health. They're almost going to get fully replenished this turn, which is really nice. 
and we're going to max out Block of Doom, so that's cheaper. Good. Right, this turn, we will get attacked at the tree. I don't think that I'm going to get more Hawk Riders, though. I'm kind of tempted. Now we're just going to chill out. And this fella's just going to sit here for the time being. Like, I can go over here and attack uh, Kalak Norn. That could be a good idea because it would allow, allow us to confederate Arguelon sooner or later. I'm really kind of conscious of the fact that we might lose more of these confederations if they uh, get attacked. It'd be really, really frustrating. Like, here is uh, like Rom. A Grom could certainly do some work. Like, they are at war with the Broken Axe, so... <laughs> yeah, I think as soon as, basically, I finish over here, we're gonna jump over to Athol Lauren and start doing stuff over there instead. And I can leave uh, Theodai to kind of chill here. Seems like the right thing to do. Getting the crag holes upgraded. Ooh, that could be an interesting shout. Glade Lord, at your service. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe. Okay, uh, let's have a look at this because I'm almost maxed out again. We'll upgrade this Dragon is all Mask. I have longed for. Okay. A pointless trinket. Now we're full blue. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Let's move on to the next turn. Just got to keep an eye on Grom. If he comes over and attacks, then we could be in trouble. But this is a decisive victory. I'm probably just going to take the orderers off. Oh, goodbye to that Skaven army. And thank you for the money. We're now up to 10,000. That's nice. Maybe we could have afforded the uh, Crack Halls of Findall upgrade. They've come to beg for mercy. A non aggression pact with the vampire counts. They are at war with the Broken Axe, but they're also at war with Reichland, and I think I'd rather be friends with Reichland. So, a non aggression pact doesn't really do us many favours there. But once Findall's ready to go, we'll replace him with the guy that's in the crag halls right now. Roll standard bearer, very nice. And Val's Anvil Smith, very good. Another forest encounter, where was that? Uh, win battles against Norska to confederate Laurelon. Okay. Nestled in the northern reaches of the Empire is Lauren's sister colony of Laurelon, an enclave of wood elves that also endured the ages since Ulthuan withdrew its colonies from the Old World. The Empire, states of Nordland and Middenland have historically both claimed Laurelon Forest as their territory, but due to the fiercely isolationist Asre who inhabit it, none have ever tried to enforce such claims. Lately, the Empire has been least of the Laurelon's worries, elves' worries, as a sea of claws has been increasingly frequent crossings by bloodthirsty Norskans whose sole purpose is war and destruction. Recent Northmen raids have seen them gain ground further south into Nordland, bringing marauder bands closer to Laurelon Forest. Minor skirmishes have already occurred, with Asre blood needlessly spilt. For the good of the weave, defeating the Norskans in a battle and weakening their numbers may facilitate a friendship with the Lorenon elves and make them more sympathetic to your cause. You're given the opportunity to confederate Lorenon for one battle against Norska. Seems seems not too bad, honestly. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, this campaign... 
really got wild very fast. Unfortunately, we lost Orion, uh, which sucks because we won't really be able to get him back. But we still have a chance to get Dirthu, and I do want to try and get Dryker, although Dryker is going to be a difficult one because Dryker is kind of far away and often attacked by like a billion different factions. So we'll see if she's still there later down the line. But yeah, we'll definitely try and get Dirthu at least. But that is it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.